I am heading to Mesquite, Nevada, which is about an hour and 15 minutes away from home. I'm going out here because of American Family Estate Sales is having a terrific sale. Okay, it's a big, gorgeous house in a big, gorgeous neighborhood. And I see things peeking out of the garage. This is gonna be fun. Here we go, here we go. All right, oh, it's a big house. <laughs> it's a very big house. Goodness. All right, this is not completely set up yet, so just kind of Look around, that is Inkle. Beautiful, beautiful Inkle. I do really love that. Okay, I think I'm gonna start my pile with that. Oh, what do we got? Oh, it opens that way. Yeah, so this guy, there's, I haven't went Oh my gosh. Yet. It's a sign. <laughs> and then there's these guys. Those are cool. Can I? You okay if I open that up and take your time, dig Remember, through a little bit? Went through it, so. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Oh. oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. All right, let's spread that. Then we look in here. Is all the okay? Oh, you got it. You got it. It says J.C. Penney. See, that's intriguing to me. The little J.C. Penney box. Oh, look, it's a little. Oh, look at that. New old stock. <laughs> little. I'm pretty sure those are faux pearls. Let's see. What does it say? Oh no, maybe they're real. At a three hundred and nineteen dollar price tag. 14 carat? That's kind of fabulous. That's kind of fabulous. Okay, we're getting the pearls. They are genuine pearls. Look at this guy. A lot of this is gold. Like this is, I think this is gold plated. Okay, I'm gonna put him in the pile too. So it isn't very often I find rings that fit me. Look at that. And it's got blue stones. And then on this hand, this one. How fun are those? All right. And then this is, this is his loop. But I got the cat, the, uh, the pearls. I've got this amazing. Oh, let me get it open with one hand. Okay, stand by. It's a charm bracelet from Scotland, uh, funny Scotland, look at that, that's fun, and then these little, little pendant charms right here I'm getting as well. All right, let's see, what else we got? Oh, those are beautiful. Let's open this up, there's some glass and pottery in here. Oh, these are really pretty. Are you signed? You're not signed. I think they got the little matching plate that goes with. I don't know what I'm gonna end up with here. Let's see. That's beautiful. That is signed on the bottom. What are you signed? Can't tell, but I like that one. Let's grab that. And then we've got some clear glass. That looks like Mikasa. That, see, I'm kind of looking at it from a distance and it doesn't quite have the quality look from a distance, the clarity, it's a little coarse. So it's a fairly generic, probably like a Shannon crystal. So we'll leave that one. This is nice. Let's look at that. So the middle doesn't open, so we just have to go in get it this way. 
This is beautiful. Now, you'll hear me talk a lot about Party Light makes a, a candle holder with this kind of mosaic. It's called Calypso. This is not Party Light. This, and I'm trying to remember, I found it before. I think it's, I want to say it's Bohemian makes this pattern and it's very nice but I'm just not into dealing with all the glassware right now. Like, look at it. It's gorgeous. Absolutely stunningly gorgeous. But it's just, I'm just not going to deal with it. But this piece, Mexican blown glass, it's a single tin. Okay. We're not going to, we're not going to get that one either. This house is pretty spectacular. You've got the wine cooler. I mean, the kitchen is nice. It's not as huge as I would expect a kitchen, but oh, I see something Noah's gonna want. We've got some ice buckets. That's 25, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Bottle stopper. Is it, oh, it's really in there. Sonoma County. I'm not a wine girl. I don't know much about it, but I do look for, this is, this is pretty big here, but look for the big, I think they're called like dummy bottles that were display pieces. Those, and they make perfume bottles like that too. <gasps> okay. Who remembers? It's been a couple of years. So you would have had to have been watching my channel for a long time. The cat bottles well here this one this one's never been opened it's still got the alcohol in it uh so wouldn't want to even try to sell that because it would break my heart to empty it out so that's better to go to somebody who actually wants the alcohol in there but that's what they are they are decanters okay let's see Okay, I have to run over here. I think this is what Noah wants. I think this is the real deal. And it's a used one, so it's already kind of been ground in. Because I to was told if you get a new one, you're going to end up with little pieces of this, like, rock in your food, which I really don't want. Uh, so, that's going in the pile. I hope Noah approves. All right, let's see. These are the De Serrano ice cube glasses. I've stopped picking up a lot of glassware. I just have. But look, there's some really high quality stuff here. Like the, um, what, bleh, bleh, bleh. Is it Grey Goose? Why can I think of that? Goodness. Everybody's got their sustenance this morning. Oh, I left mine in the car. I might want to go back out and get that. Let's look in the pantry. I see some princess house. Measuring cups. Seven dollars. One, two, three. There's four of them. I love those. I'm going to grab those. And I looked up and there is a a butterbell? Butterbell. I've been finding these a lot lately. You put the butter in there. Correct me if I'm wrong. You put the butter in there and the ice or the water in there and it keeps your butter fresh without it being in the refrigerator. The original Butterbell Crock, 2003. So it is vintage. All right, let's put that in the pile too. Nice little napkin holders. Oh, there's a Pioneer Woman year of holidays cookbook oh that's a cute little lazy susan a little bit of newer carnival glass all right and then some everyday stuff all right let's see those are fun that's a tiny little sink for such a big house beautiful big oh that's francoma that is Francona. That is a beautiful art pottery bowl. Chip and dip. Really nice things, but I'm really trying to be a little bit careful today. 
because uh, I'm still I still have a lot of artwork I have to get listed and you know I've talked about this before that's kind of how I decide how much I buy at any given trip it depends on am I behind am I ahead do I need inventory am I heavy on inventory what's been selling all of those things have to go through the brain of a reseller and right now I do have a lot of things I still need to get listed so this this trip could be a little bit more frugal okay we have a bunch of fun little creatures lots of ironwood I see some Tanala pieces these are the Tanala that are also encased in brass Oh, he's gorgeous. He's gorgeous. He's really cool. And of course, you know I love him. Now, I'll tell you something. I'm debating. I'm debating. No, I I, I was going to put him in my fundraiser. I can't. I don't have. I don't have a big ironwood turtle. I think I need him for me. These pieces are just absolutely gorgeous. I've just found that ironwood is not selling as quickly as it did in the past. Oh, Big Sky Carvers. Big Sky Carvers is good. That's a nice one. That one is hollow inside and it's a ceramic. That one's beautiful. Not signed. This one's ironwood. I do like the buffalo. buffalo. Okay, that's a reference to a slot machine we have here in Vegas. He's pretty cool. Okay, I think I'm going to get the buffalo. Some beautiful Talavera pieces. Look at that dispenser. Oh, it's gorgeous. Big though, big. As is, like, look at his prices are really, really good. Really good. That's beautiful. So many beautiful things. Looking amongst all the little Avon bottles here, this one caught my eye. What came in that? Miss Lollipop. Thank you, I appreciate it. Cute as she. All right, let's leave the Avon. All right, let's see what's back over in this room. Oh, we've got sporty stuff, which I don't deal in at all. Not, not a big sports fan, this one. Some gorgeous furniture. Wow, I love that bookcase. That is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Cars. Look at these dolls. I I was looking at the Chrissy box back here. Oh, she's in there. Oh, Chrissy is in the box. $20. 1969. Chrissy doll. Now the question is, is her hair cut or not? It's wait, wait. Is it? Oh, why, what is it? Why did little girls love to cut their Chrissy doll hair? See, look, she's been she's been a little trimmed, but she's got the big ponytail piece. That is the important part of the Chrissy doll. And she's dressed in her ever so 60s outfit. I love that it comes with the original box, so I think we're going to grab that. I'm trying to remember what her name is. Uh, she's only five. These dolls are only five dollars. Do they need a little work? They need a little work. But I feel like the price is so right. I mean, these all look like they're from the 60s. These are like the dolls I grew up with. Oh, what is... <gasps> What's going on with her eyes? <laughs> She's a little freaky. There's a bag of doll clothes back here too. Let's take a peek inside there and see what we've got. Oh, who 
do you go with? One of these girls, probably. They are very 60s looking clothing, so. All right, we're just, we're gonna rehome all of these dolls. Because, let me tell you, I always get the comments how I never look at the dolls, I never look at the dolls. And it's because the dolls I see like out at the Goodwills and the thrift stores are like those very, they're vintage, but they're contemporary vintage. These are the vintage that you wanna look for as far as the plastic dolls or the rubber dolls. Um, of course, I'm always looking for the early, um, early 1900s to 1800s dolls. Those are my passion. It's what I collect personally. But I'm not opposed to picking 1960s dolls up and making sure they get into good homes and get preserved. Okay, as I was getting up, I saw something. But my hands are really full and I can't get to them. Stand by. Oh my goodness, these were my favorite, my favorite, favorite, favorite. I guess it was a cartoon. It was a different cartoon though. It was it was ahead of its time, but I love me some Pokey and Gumby. So those are coming with me. All right, what do we have in the little cupboard up here? We've got some Michael Jackson's. Hmm, this guy, he's not like old or anything. He's just this little funny solar little cat. We actually have one in the backyard. But over here is a little original piece of art. Looks like someone did. Beautiful little calico kitty. All right, we'll leave you there, honey. All right, we have another bedroom here. Ooh, that is one of those etched on marble creations it's uh it's numbered 158 out of 1500 gray is the artist that's beautiful they're asking 200 on that oh wow oh see if i had a wall to put that on i know i have a bird wall but this is this is big like there's a window and that's how big it is ah, but look at that just that's amazing uh, that is, I think it's a photograph and it is, it's a, it's a print off of an original photograph, I believe. Uh, Wolf is the photographer or artist, 85 out of 500. 500, that's a little bit better number than 1500, I will say that. Oh, and here's another one. These people loved eagles. What's this one say? This one says treetop eagles by Wes Wolf. Wes Wolf. So that's the same artist as the other one. Those are amazing. Okay, let's go see what's in the closet. Blankets, linens. What is that? Zumba. Zumba stuff. Some big nutcrackers. Ooh, fringe. Ten dollars. Well, that's a really heavy, nice, nice quality leather. Very, very nice. It's not named. It's got a little, little schmooze on the handle. Can you? Oh, it's hard. What can you do with that? How do you fix that? How do you fix that? Because other than that, this thing is beautiful. And it's now it's got some here too. Mm, it's almost like a oil or glue or something got on there oh as much as it pains me i'm gonna leave it i'm looking at the jackets this is hard too it's it's like they got wet because they're hard that's very strange pioneer wear that's a nice jacket i was here for the kitty cats let's see who's the artist on that crow's nest gallery from Montana. Uh, Bolak, B-O-L-A-C-K. I believe it's an artist on that. We'll leave that one for somebody else. Oh 
my goodness, that is a life-size nutcracker. Literally, I were the same height, and I am five foot five. <laughs> and then there's all these guys that would be considered very large nutcrackers in and of themselves, but oh, are you a working? Do you like no, you're just Oh, and it's like it's like plastic. Okay, so he'd be lightweight. Very interesting. I would not want to ship that. And we have the, is this the home call version? Oh, it is. It's the home call version. Um, the na the uh, Avon Nativity one is very, very similar to this. It's very interesting that they are so alike. I'm now I'm wondering if home call made it for Avon. Look at this clock. Wait for it. Look at that. That is so interesting. Wow, so primitive. Look at all the gears. And then they're using rocks as the weights. I'm not a clock person, but I love that. All right, let's see what we have in the bathroom. You never know what you're gonna find in the bathroom at an estate sale. We saw bags of clothes they haven't even processed yet. Beautiful bench. They had lovely taste. Lovely taste. Oh, <gasps> look at these heart mirrors. Oh, you know who would like these, I bet. Oh, those are incredible. Now that I got something, you know I'm going to find these literally everywhere. There is going to be the jewelry box that I was looking for originally. Oh, I still love these so much. They're so functional. I wonder what they're asking for that. I, I'm still going to find out. I'm still, I'm still going to check just because. All right, lots of clothing. I'm probably going to go through because this woman was my size, so maybe I'll find a little something to wear for the wedding. I've got stuff for the wedding. I'm just not totally convinced that that's what I want to wear for the wedding. You know what I mean? <laughs> Is this Elaine? Here's another one. This belonged to Dolores from the Nelson Furniture Company. I just sold one of these. I sell every one I get. Oh, this has the uh, information on the bottom. I don't think I've ever seen one with the information on the bottom. That's going in the pile. Oh, I see a little fortune cookie. Is it a trinket box? No, it's just a little fortune cookie. Good fortune will follow you. It's, it's metal. It's fabulous. Yes. And look at this. Isn't that the best? Oh, it was a pin. It is a pin. It's got its pin. I thought the pin was missing. It's not missing. I was hoping it was signed on the back. It's not signed. It's pretty awesome. Yes. Okay, and who is the donkey? Are you briar? You feel like a briar. Do you have your briar mark somewhere under here? I'm not just looking at the bottom of the donkey. I am looking for his mark. I don't see it. I'm pretty sure it's a briar, but you know, I have one little girl who would love him no matter who he is. That's interesting. Signed here. Val something studio. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice storage box. All right, I'm gonna take my little pile back up to my pile. Okay, there's two lovely Kate Spade purses here. This was a favorite of hers, I can tell. It's got some wear in the handles, some, some soiling. And then there's a little black one here. Oh, again, it's got quite a bit of wear. Is Kate Spade one of those companies that will 
repair or replace things. Like, do they have like that lifetime guarantee? This one's not bad though. It's not bad, but I think I'm going to leave it. I just don't, I'm not a purse girl. I don't really know enough to know how much I can do with damage. Stone Mountain, see now that is a brand I understand a little better. I don't go for the big designer names. I go for the very good quality functional names. That's a really nice purse. That's a really nice purse. Let's put that in the pile. And this is adorable little beaded kind of a boxy purse it's made in china it's got the big long strap beaded strap also oh get back in there just a nice little little evening beaded purse let's put that in the pile too okay i'm still in the closet i have made myself a sizable pile of clothing she was my size some I'll sell, some I'll keep. These are fascinating. So dainty. Very, very thin glass. Which I don't particularly want to deal with. Oh, hello. You're so cute. And she loved her Avon. See, I love that. Avon wasn't just a brand that was known as being, like, inexpensive. And it was... People of stature bought Avon. And she loved her senses too. All right, I am going to have them come in here and do my pile of clothing. She is out there pricing all the goodies in my pile. There is a little bit of a backyard, but I don't, I don't think there's too much out there. Well, there's a few little uh, garden things. That's what got me last time. And I just realized this home is on a golf course. Okay, it makes sense why I saw so much golf stuff in the closet. All right, we've got another bedroom here. Lots of fake plants, which I love. Oh, that's some really nice artwork up there. Very nicely decorated. Very, very nicely decorated everything. Okay, I'm going to look at the little art. Little art is a little bit easier to deal with. That's really sweet. 1985. It's a watercolor. An original by Vicky Wavra. Wavra. That's really, I, I'm, there's something about that I really like. And I like the size. Okay, we're going to grab that one. And then who's the artist on that? It's very dark in this room. Dawn. Dawn Crystal. 150 out of 300. See, I like that numbering. That is just a sweet print, no matter, no matter how you look at it. Oh my gosh, look at these angry children. They're so angry. <laughs> There's no angry children at my house. No, no, no. Oh, these are the COAs to some of the artwork that's out there. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna match those up for him. Those are really sweet too, but a little bit bigger. I'm gonna leave those. I'm just gonna take the little one. All right, here we go. This one is under under the wing. That's got to be this one, under the wing. That's got to be that one. There we go. So Gus Wolf, one of a kind photographic print. It's the only print of its kind. That's interesting. And then this one, Treetop Eagles, is that one. Boom, right where they belong. Okay, I've got another little pile of artwork. We did have good taste. I think I said that. Nice, 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 but nothing, nothing that really, really grabs me. Okay, I'm gonna leave those. All right, is the back. Oh, it's like a, it's like a garage in a garage. That's kind of cool. See, so yeah, these are the floors I want in my garage. These are so nice. Oh, I know. Oh, poor little puffer. This, this actually, I can't, I can't bear to, to have those around. It hurts my heart. <laughs> I have the real thing, so. Oh, really? Wow, lots of golf stuff. Uh, the sea dragons look really cool. Because they're like flamboyant and 
those are like magnificent cactus margarita glasses. I like them. No glassware. No glassware for me today. Not doing it. What's that? Oh, it's a squeezer. It's a squeezer. Okay. Okay, I found a wonderful little collection. Are you, oh, you're glued in there. You're glued. But there's a turtle. There's a happy little turtle. I think I must have this. All right, then there's a little garage in a garage. It's kind of what I want to do. Oh my gosh, they must have worked on cars out here. This is an entire car lift for working on cars. Wow. Okay, this is like a this is like a man's dream out here with all these tools and car parts and everything looks pristine. Goodness gracious. Ooh, but I see him. Oh yes, honey, you're coming with me. I actually have a whole collection of these. Uh, they're made by an artist down in Mexico. Forget, I have one with the original tag. That's how I know that. But yes, he's fabulous. There's the little car, little motorized car, Shelby Cobra. How fun is that? Nice little art pottery. That's heavily signed. Tippy, Tippy Canoe. <laughs> Why am I seeing Tippy Canoe? I'm sure that's not what I see. But that's what came to mind, and I don't know why. <laughs> that's really pretty. Some angel wings. Alpaca rug. Oh, look at these fun fish. Fish on a string. Let's see if I can get the fish out from under the string. They're wood. They're fun. They're going in the pile. Okay, I really do have my eye on these fun garden guys, but I don't want to load my car up this time like I did last time. Oh yeah, and I did buy the jewelry armoire. I did, I went ahead and got it. Uh, he offered it to me for 60 and I said, no, I'm going to give you at least 100 for it. So I'm getting that for $100. Totally worth it. It's beautiful. Oh man, there's some really fun stuff. Look at the the sun faces. Oh, that's a bird feeder. I actually have a small version of this and I keep forgetting to put bird seed in it. I don't need another. I don't need another one. Nope, I'm good. How fun is this? Oh my gosh. Just, ah, what a fun, what a fun family this was. I can just tell. So this piece right here, okay, you're going to laugh at me. I play a game called Garden Joy. It's like a design home interior decorating game. Well, I play that one too, but not as much as I play Garden Joy. And you literally decorate an outside. And I swear this is one of the fountains that you can decorate with. That's where my mind went as soon as I saw that. I think these screens are made to protect the windows from the golf balls. Pretty sure. I found one more little stash of goodies here. These sweet little tea. Look at these little miniatures. Oh my goodness. Those are so sweet. I don't think there's anything I can't live without, but I did. Oh gosh, look how dainty that is. Okay. All right. We've got a sizable pile. We're going to go tally up right now. Okay. I am loaded up. This was absolutely 100% worth the drive. Uh, American Family Estate sales is the estate sale company of choice here. Um, I will never miss, never miss one of his sales. And again, there is a VIP program. It is on his website, which I will post up here and put down in the description. So you can just link over to it. If you'd like to be part of that, you can sign up. Uh, this was a blast. <laughs> this was so good. Uh, I have a car load I'm coming home with, including a whole bunch of clothes, which you didn't see me buy, but I got 42 pieces of clothes, uh, many of which are going to go into my own closet. I think when I, I'm going to do a closet clean out kind of a thing, and I, 
I hate to make promises I can't keep, so I'm not promising, but I'm gonna try to work in some of that video because I know if you're anything like me, you like to see before and afters. You like to see the results of some work put in and you probably wanna see what's in my closet. Let's face it. <laughs> I like to see what's in other people's closets. That's why I like estate sales. All right. I'm off. I think I'm going to go find like a little antique store or a thrift store or something while I'm up here. I have about another hour and a half before I have to head back. And so I'm going to do that. But that will be in the next video. I hope to see you there and uh, hope to see you on the next one. Go be profitable and make it fun.